So if you don't know already, the our planet alpha crypto game is out and it is playable now we made a video on this very uh not too long ago and uh, we just basically had a quick look about at the game and how it was looking we've now had two weeks to play the game and we're starting to understand the game strategy some of the things you'll need to know as a new player if you're playing the alpha or if you want to get your knowledge up to scratch before the full release of the game generally tends to be around knowledge relating to buildings and to mines and strategy in-game strategy so in this video myself and hysteria have a good good old chat about all the different buildings in the game which ones you should be prioritizing basically what you need to know if you're a noob So, Ash, you've been playing the game quite extensively now for about two weeks or so. You've gone through that initial resource gathering period, uh, making some beginner mistakes along the way. Um, and now you're kind of into that battle phase uh, of the game. So, yeah, what, mm. what, what's been your strategy and what buildings are most useful for, for beginners? So, if you're starting out, I guess the first buildings you need to know about are the mines. So uh, if you look at the top of the screen, we spoke about this on the previous video, but you, you've got four different elements there. You've got Capodium, Nefterium, Waxen and Weaponite. Yeah. And if you look around the screen, there are different mines that I've got. So I've got blue ones, I've got green ones, I've got yellow ones and red ones. They correspond to the, the, the element that you're mining, essentially. Um, they're the most important buildings in the game because without them, you can't build anything else. So if you need to build buildings or other mines, you need those yeah. materials and robots as well. You need those materials. Um, so they're, they're, they're essential. So really, if you're starting out, level up those mines as quickly as possible. Uh, the more you level them up, the more essentially exponentially that, that amount of materials you get back from mining increases. So um, ideally, you should be kind of um, looking to get to level 10, a mine of each element to level 10 as quickly as possible. Um, mm -hmm. And the reason for that is because you start to unlock um, these other buildings here called factories, which give you essentially a percentage boost on top of your your elements, um, which give you even more. And then that allows you to build things at a much quicker rate. So that's basically what the factories do. Um, you can also see on here that it says Nexus level 10. Um, so the Nexus, you see there's, there's not an option for the Nexus in here. Uh, it does appear when it gets destroyed and you can rebuild it. But the Nexus is this building here. And this is arguably, I mean, I, I just said the mines are the most important sort of uh, builders in the game. The Nexus is essential for everybody, everything. Um, yeah. This is essentially your your base within the, the wider base. Um, and the idea of this is, is you can upgrade this and it can boost your construction speed. So how quickly some of these buildings take to, to, to um, upgrade. Some of those can get take quite a long time when they go up high levels, so that's always worth doing. You can also burn your robots in there. Uh, but ultimately, the level of the Nexus will dictate what other buildings you can um, actually build in-game. So yeah. we just quickly looked at resources there. You see there's two more buildings I'm not touched on. One is Supply Depot and one is Stash. Now these are uh also very important the supply depot essentially allows the um so you have a cap on the amount of the elements you can have it you can hold at any one time so yeah. uh, there's been a few times where i've gone to bed woken up and the numbers at the top are flashing in red and they won't go above a certain amount uh, and that's dependent on the the level of your supply depot so you see this supply depot here it says level one and you see yeah. the storage capacity is 3000 so basically as soon as it hits 3000 it caps and it won't go any higher. So you're potentially losing out on potential resources if you don't nice. level it up. So that's that's a really important one. And you can have multiple of these. This is one of the only buildings you can have more than one of, right? Supply Depot. Yeah, and this in the stash. This in the stash, you can have multiple. I've actually got two stash, and that's quite handy. Um, stash is, is a good building. Uh, I would say it's essential as soon as you get past the um, uh, the cooldown period. So if you're a new player, there's a four down cooldown period where no one can attack you. Um, so it's no point building it at the start because you'll just be wasting your resources, which could go in, be better put into other things. But when it comes to that four day moment 
where you can start being attacked by other players, 100% build a stash and build it and upgrade it to so that the stash capacity is in or around the amount that your your essential your your cap your deposit cap your depot cap sorry. So yeah. basically, what happens if someone attacks you, they can't then steal those resources. So um, no matter actually, what, once you get up in the morning, you know you've always got some resources there ready to rebuild or or go attack yeah. them. So, yeah, yeah, so exactly. for me, that 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 sounds like it's very important moving forward. It's really really important. So I've got to a stage where uh, I'm getting attacked frequently, and without the the stash, uh, uh, my buildings are being destroyed. Uh, but I've got the stash to to basically remake those buildings or repair those buildings, upgrade yeah. them again to the level All that right, we're let's, at. So, let's move on to the next buildings then. The, the infrastructure okay, so, and the military buildings. So I yeah, noticed so there's in, some there that you don't already have. Um, well, I've been at so I did have all of all of them, but then I got yeah. heavily attacked. So All right, well, that's lost. good for the video. You, you wouldn't yeah. be able to see them if you, you'd already got them, right? So, so. <laughs> we're going to do we're gonna do another video where I talk about being attacked and potential strategies around um, defense and yeah. attack. And we can talk about that. So watch out for that video. But yeah, yeah, so basically, again, like the ones that are red, I haven't unlocked. So you can see here so, that like the, I haven't got a terror for my for Mater. Uh, you haven't got one of them, so so that's quite an important building. That one, so that that that's the building that you link your land NFT to, and it gives you a permanent boost on yeah. on all of that mineral that you're mining based on the rarity and level of that our planet NFT land. And you can put yeah, a maximum and, and... of three lands on that building if it goes up to a, a level twenty, right? So that's pretty yeah, that's pretty it's, cool. It's, it's pretty and good. You, but you as can you get, can you see, you can get all that stuff in the game already. So everything like robots, lands, they can all already be burned into the game and used. Yeah. So, so that, that's completely right. I, I did have one of these, and I had linked one of my lands to it, uh, yeah. but it's been attacked. And at the moment, I'm struggling to kind of rebuild. So uh, for me, it's not a priority because I would then have to level this up to level ten again to then get the boost from my land and i just don't have the resources and I'm, I'm i'm trying to recover so that's why i don't have it right now uh it's a bit yeah. sad but yeah it's a good one but then you can see the expansion hub that requires the terraformator the yeah. expansion this is my favorite building because i love i love this this concept um basically this building gives you like a, a transport a ship that allows yeah. you to go and set up other bases so a bit like the the terraformator oh, nice. you, you can unlock uh, the ability to go and capture another land at, uh, at, at, at kind of like level 10 level 20 and and so on so oh, nice. um so basically i've done that and you can see i've got two lands so i can switch between them um yeah, and i did I, this I when was i was kind in of thinking, quite a healthy position i was kind of thinking what's the point of having more than three lands but then you know now i've heard about this building obviously you can get yeah. another level one terraformator on your other base and then your other base after that so it's not yeah, only so three you can, lands you can use, it's potentially, you know, loads of lands in one one yeah. game that can all be used at the same time. So I, I made a bit of a mistake of not knowing how this function worked um, for probably about a week. And so I started seeing people around me like, how have they got multiple bases? And I just couldn't work it out. And then yeah. I realized that if I got the got that build in, I could then send yeah. a ship out. And by that time it was too late and I was getting attacked and I started losing resources and stuff. So get to that stage i would say if you're starting out your your aim should be to just establish as many bases as you can as quickly as possible um because you're just going to be getting even more resources for each of them and, then, and what and you then can do someone, someone attacks you and then you can take your resources from both bases and say two armies and start attacking them twice right yeah so you can send attacks from nice. different places what is also really important then is when you get to that stage is the market the market does several things so you can you get this thing called a transporter there number one it says that you can upgrade it you can get more of them basically you can send resources to different bases so if you're making loads of resources surplus resources on your first base and you're developing your second uh, one you can send them to the second one to get, get growth there or you can send them to a mate you can send them to someone in your alliance to help them out if they're getting attacked um, you can also trade, and this is quite handy. So if you've got too, if you're getting too much of one resource, so let's say yeah. waxen, I can then come on here and, and and trade that resource with someone else, even an enemy. And you can see there's different yeah. rates on there. This can, however, take a long time depending on where that person is on the map. So you can see the time limit. 
However, there is another building you can unlock which can reduce that uh, time. And that's the transport hangar. So you can see here, I need an air tech factory for this, but essentially you level this up, that reduces, um, it increases the amount of resources each transporter can, can, can carry. So you can yeah. see the transport capacity here is 150. Um, and so the, yeah, there's, there's so much to this game. Um, there's loads of different elements. Um, so mm -hmm. just touching on the last few infrastructure buildings. So data center, when again, when you get to the stage where you can get attacked, this is essential because it stops people come well it protects you from hackers um so that's like a first line of defense yeah. um you could also got a fortification center and this is really really important you can only destroy other people's buildings through the use of artillery drones or artillery robots so people will send them out and they will start to destroy buildings this building protects and you can see the percentage there, the more you level up, the higher that percentage. I got this to level 50% 50, 50 at one point. Yeah. Um, but it still got destroyed. It took a long That's while, crazy. but it got destroyed. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it's an essential building to, if you don't have that, your buildings are going to go and you can and, and and have to keep that's a, that's a blanket defense for all of your buildings that are within that base. Yeah, yeah. So basically, awesome. the, the higher you've got this, the more artillery uh, drones the opposition needs to send to, to basically start to yeah. bite into your base. But there's different strategies. We'll go into that into the, in the next bit, like stealing resources and stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I've had people to... that have attacked me. They've stolen, uh, some of them have stolen my resources and some of them have just attacked my buildings. Mm. So, yeah. You know, I, I wasn't so really getting damaged initially. I was just getting a lot of my resources stolen. And then all of a sudden I can't press the buttons enough or I wake up in the morning and then I, because I've not got the stash <laughs> yeah. and the storage facilities like you are, um, yeah. you know, I've got no resources to rebuild the stuff that's been taken or or, or destroyed. And then, you know, it's a vicious cycle after that, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's it's, it can to be tough. It, so. I've, I've, so I've found initial, myself that getting... initial phase of the game, very important. Yeah, so I've had some buildings destroyed and then I find myself getting starved of resources. So where the stash gets destroyed, then your resources get stolen. It's then really hard to build back. So you've got to really protect against that. Um, yeah. All right. Well, we've heard a lot about the, the resources and we went through the infrastructure. But I think the, the part everyone wants to hear about, uh, and I'm sure this is something we'll touch on much, much more in the next video, are, are the, the, the military aspects and the robots and, and the fighting and the attacking. So, you know, very, very briefly, let's just go through uh, and have a look at the options that we've got and what, what they what they do. Yeah, okay. So very briefly, Robot Factory does what it says on the tin. It gives you access to robots. Yeah. Um, so if you have one of these, I have got one. There it is. So just you so see, people can... don't get confused, if you get the if you get the robots from Atomic Cub, the NFTs, which are the units that you burn into the game. Uh, they do still use your resources, so they will still take your weapon out hourly for the, or, or per second for, for whatever it is they're using. Uh, but you don't get those robots in, in these factories. You burn those in at the Nexus, and then they just appear in, in your stash. So this is a completely new uh, set of robots and skill trees um, for, for yeah. people that are playing the game rather than paying to win. That's right. So the ones I'm showing you on the screen, these are the in-game robots, not the sort of the pay-to-win robots. Um, yeah. So there's just three shown on here. They have different skills and use them for different things. Um, so it's very wise to clear up on that. I think they're worth a video in them in their own in their own right. Yeah. Because there's quite a lot to them. Um, so you can unlock more of these robots. So there's not just three, and you need an academy, this building here, to do that. Yeah. So basically, if you get an academy, you level it up. It, at certain levels, you unlock different robots, like the artillery drones, yeah. um, which you can then use to go and destroy other pe people's buildings. So again, like this is sort of a, a building that levels up your, your robot factory, if you like. Mm -hmm. Ammunition center. Um, this uh, can help give you a sort of a boost to the attack and defense stats of the, of the robots. So that's quite nice. Um, nice little addition, not essential, but it's it's one of those nice to haves. Uh, the yeah. shield then is kind of the the reverse of that, really. So rather than when you're sending robots out to attack, when people come to attack you, if you have a shield, 
Um, it actually increases the defensive power of each of each unit, and you can see their yeah. unit defense boost two percent. So, and what I've found, the person who keeps attacking me always attacks this building first. So you yeah. can see, like, even if it's just level one. So what I kind of do is I put it down as a dummy building because he, he must think I've got lots of robots because I've got a shield up. So yeah. I put that down and 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 that's quite good. <laughs> um, nice. So only a couple left. Air Tech Factory. So this is a different type. This this creates different types of of robot or drones, and you can get spy drones that you send out, and you can discover things about other bases. Really, really useful. Don't just send your robots out to attack because you could just wipe them all out um, instantly. Always send the spy drones out. Find out what's there, then uh, make a decision. Then. Um, and then you've got a siege factory, and this is where you create artillery robots, which are really important, as we've discussed already. And you've got a jet center here, so improve the speed I mean, of that your troops. That sounds very too. interesting. Basically, it just gives you a speed boost. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed this video, if you like crypto games, if you love our planet, we're going to be making loads more content about this stuff. Uh, we're also going to be uh, developing an NFG guild for our planet. So come and join the NFG dis uh, Discord, link in the description. Uh, but yeah, if you like this video and you like our content, please do remember to like and subscribe because without you guys, we would not be making this content. So thanks once again, and we'll see you again soon for another crypto game.